thank you for coming to the Sprinter Store YouTube channel. And this is Auxiliary Fuel Tank, a Titan tank with Sprint Tech installation stuff. And we're here installing a Titan tank. Jared here is going to explain how you do this. We're doing a what? Phil? Phil Neck. The uh, Phil Neck. The hole in the side of the quarter panel. It's always usually going to be in the quarter panel because of where the fill hose is. It's going to run along the back here and have to come up. So usually in this first panel, as you see, we have any trim that you may have removed. Um, okay, so we have two panels. It usually goes in this first. Well, it depends what kind of van. Cargo will be metal. Yeah. Um, you might have a trim piece. You might have just a piece of um, styrofoam board or plastic board that runs along here. Either way, you need to get to the metal and the door. Go through the door for the thing. So the, the hose runs along the bottom here, up through the bottom and across in there. That's how we did that one. You can each, each one's custom. You can do it the way you want in generally, but the majority are always the same like this. So we have a four and a half inch hole saw. Four and a half inch hole saw. You do have a trace right here. It's not important um, where you drill the hole yet. What's important is the little holes around it after you drill the big hole. So just make sure that, you know, you're roughly, you're, you're gonna have this top hole, which is gonna hold the face plate, needs to be below this crease right here. So anywhere around there will do. I've already made my center punch hole. So basically it's gotta line up with the pillar in the middle in there. Yeah, with the, with the open space that you just saw. So there. is there a way to measure or to get that exact? Or? Uh, depending on the length of your van, it will be different. So you'll have to, this is very thin. You can reach your hand in there, tap on the outside and feel where it is. So, mine's kind of a, it's kind of a rough measurement. You can stick your hand through the door and really, you can really feel where you want to be. So you have this whole area. This is going to sit, so. There is no exact measurement you want to, I'm going to put this one right about here. That's that's kind of where you want to be. Right about center. There. Right about center of this makes it easy to get to the connections and whatnot. Okay, so they can figure out on their own if they're installing this yeah. to try to line it up to center of that pillar hole. Yep. Okay. Exactly. All right, so here we have the trace of where we're gonna put around here to do the mounting bolts. And what that's gonna do is line up this face plate. Oh. It's very secure. Very, very secure, very protective very, face plate. Very protective faceplate because that thing's made of solid platinum <laughs> worth 2.6 million dollars right now and it comes with a nine a, 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 Kate, what is it n95 mask <laughs> to, to prevent coronavirus i don't know it's uh what is it alumina this is your gas door and it's going to line up Ooh, it's aluminum with these stuff? holes over the back okay of the fill filler yep. neck filler neck filler gas door and so we line this thing up. Now you can do whatever direction you want. No, nope. nope. it's going to tell you. This has to go on the bottom because most of got holes and that one doesn't have. Okay, so you have tapered holes. All of them but one are tapered. That's the bottom. Is that bottom one tapered? No, it's okay. got it's it's got a screw in it. Okay, it's now got a you, screw in as it. As you That's can the see, bottom. There's no hole to drill for that one on the bottom. Okay. So there's one screw already in it right there. Yep. And then you got all tapered holes. That one that's already screwed in there, it's not really a screw, but it's a marker for dead center bottom. Yep. So I got a light behind there shining out of the hole so I can see what you want to do is line the trace of the big hole up with the light shining through the hole you drilled. Whoop. That like that. Okay, so that's your template. Yep. Tape it on there so you can get the holes in the right area you want to be. 
perpendicular to level ground, I guess, but the bottom doesn't have a hole and it's that nut. That'll be the bottom of the plate. That hole right there. See, they got holes there, tapered holes, and then that one's not really, that's already set in there. So that is the bottom, dead center, right on this thing you won't see in your life. But we're lining that up so that these are all for mounting. So after you get the hole drilled, um, all the holes, take a little piece of sandpaper, um, clean up the edges, get any little burrs off, um, make it nice and smooth. Doesn't have to be any particular grit, just something to get the rough enough to get the burrs off. After that, you'll want to grab a little primer pin from anywhere, put a little primer on here. Um, that way it, it protects from corrosion. It does come with a gasket, but you know, the more the merrier. Um, go back on the inside, clean the burrs. Off the inside here. You know, just clean it up, make it look good. So in your hardware kit, you should find um, these hose clamps. Um, what we're after right now are the Allen wrench. Or yeah, the Allen head countersunk screws. They're what? Uh, half inch? Or three quarters. Yeah, three quarters. Inch. Three quarter inch. They're provided with their nuts. Or the lock. Wash them out, please. But are provided. There is five of them. That you put in there. I got all the bolt holes started. It's a little bit snug fit. Um, you see me ratcheting. I don't have a nut on the other side. This kind of just sucks it down into the holes like you're supposed to. I forget this rubber gasket. Seize it. So I'll snug it down. That's what you do. It's not ready. It's perfect enough, I guess. To yeah, the holes are tight enough to where the threads and screws are running along the body, but creates a nice snug fit. Okay, so snug it down. So one thing you may want to do after you drill this hole is, <laughs> oh, he's moved and scared me, uh, is this is kind of sharp. So I'm going to dole this up with a file and stuff before you do this after you cut the hole. So this is where we're gonna cut out for the fill hose to go down. Um, I've already done it, but I can show you. This sat here like this, and I cut it out two pieces. And then I used a one and 11 16 hole saw, and I cut out two holes. You can kind of see one here and one there and then you cut out in between. So you get this nice oval opening. This is where you stick the fuel, fuel hose down and it's gonna come out um, of a bottom plug underneath, which we will show.